going to happen everywhere. You can listen back experiences if you're a boss or you've got a tattoo. Text us. What are you doing up front? We're just going to the park. Come on then. Always something going on over here. Come and stand this way. I don't know what this is. They've got a big truck though. Oh, they had that Boundary Festival, didn't they? This is where this was. Boundary Fest. And I think they're cleaning up from all of that. You can see like, all the patches in the grass as to where the tents were. Oh, he's found something. Stan, no! Stan! Oi! Get out of whatever you're rolling in. Don't do that. Don't do that. I'm on the yellow brick road. I'm off to see the wizard. The wizard of shit. Here he is. Oh, sorry I had to show you that. I thought that was quite funny. I've literally just walked through about eight spider's webs. Oh, it's all over my hair, it's over my face, I can feel it. Oh, my shoes are all wet now. Where's Stanley? Come on, Stan. It looks pretty nice out here at the moment, though. Oh, there he is. How the hell did you get up there? See, this is why I want to strap a GoPro to Stan, because he just goes, he's off. I don't actually know where you go. Come on, boy. But anyway, I have not said hello yet. I have not said good morning to the camera, to future me. Good morning myself while I'm editing this. It's currently five past 10, literally just gone five past 10. Five past 10, how are you diddly doing? What's cracking? Oh, and you fell over. I'm obviously at the woods walking the dogs. It's quite a nice morning. Don't know what I've got planned today but I kind of do want to do something because it's an all right day and I think this is going to be one of the only ones we're going to have in a while. hope you enjoyed my last video. Again, it's just a chilled one. I haven't really been up to much because I haven't got a lot of dosh at the moment, but I get paid next week. So next week soon I'll be able to do more stuff. Oh, and I've got a big, 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 huge, huge surprise day coming soon. It's my birthday on the 3rd of October, if you didn't already know. You probably didn't. Or mind you, most of the family watching this did. Uh, yeah, my birthday's on the 3rd of October and I'm doing something big for it, like something adrenaline junky, something I've wanted to do for a long time. I don't know if I've spoken about it on these vlogs before, but I have wanted to do it for ages. Oh, my arm's getting achy. And yeah, I'm doing that on my, well, not on my birthday, but it's going to be a birthday present for me and obviously I'll be vlogging whatever it is, so subscribe if you want to see what that is at some point. It will be a good vlog. I can guarantee you that now. Back at the car and they've got to sit down there, good boys, because they got wet feet and I don't get my seat all dirty. Oh yeah, my bike. So I've got someone who is actually quite interested in it, um, which is good, which is what I want, because I want to sell it, obviously. I've been trying to sell it for a while. Ellie knows someone who knows someone who knows a dog whose owners, pets, brothers, sisters, cousins, part deceased sons, embryo inside of his brain is wanting to do something so I need to get that cleaned up I need to do a few bits on it to sort it out get it spick and spam I need to get a new light for the back for some reason someone smashed one of my tail lights out so I need to get that fixed and my tire is as dead as a dodo literally it is so flat I need to get a new tire also today I need to phone the drone people because I'm not happy at all with how it's been dealt with and all this all this crap that's been going on with DJI, or it's not even with DJI, it's with another company called SLR Hut. I'm gonna name and shame here. Don't buy through SLR Hut. Their customer care is rub like diabolical and they just don't fix your problem. It took them over a month to get a drone back to me. So I sent them my drone to be fixed. They said it'd be fixed in one week and sent back to me. If it wasn't, they'd send me a new one wasn't sent back in a week, I phoned them up like, it's not here, I phoned them up two weeks later actually. So I left them two weeks, I gave them a chance, said look, where is it? They're like, oh yeah, it's in the system, it's being fixed, it'll be with you, be with you end of this month. And I was like, end of this month? So that's another two weeks away. And they were like, yeah. And I was like, but you told me it would take a week. The guy literally told me it would take a week. The actual engineer who'd be fixing my drone told me it wouldn't take this long. And they were like, oh no, he shouldn't have said that. It takes four to six weeks. I was like, no, you're saying six weeks. It's like, you, you're lying to me. I was like, get me a drone here now. And they're like, okay, fine. We'll send you a refurbished one. It hasn't been used. It's fine. It's practically brand new. It's just the box has been opened. I was like, okay, fine. Send it to me. I want it to be here ASAP because I need it. Got it here. Flew it two times and it's broke. Not to my fault. It just doesn't work. It's just beeping really loud. 
So I'm going to send that back and I want a full refund. Don't want any crap going on, just give me my money back basically. And then I'm going to buy another drone, which isn't actually out yet. I don't know if you saw the GoPro Keynote, it's like the Apple thing that Apple do. It was the GoPro one and they're bringing out a drone called the GoPro Karma. Now it looks pretty freaking cool to be honest. It's got image stabilization which you can take out. This is where it gets crazy. You can take the image stabilization out of the drone and put it into, so like you know the thing that I've got here, my Manfrotto I think it is, this thing that I'm holding you on, the tripod. It's a bit like that but not a tripod, so it's a handle that you can hold it on and it's image stabilization. You can move it wherever you want and that image stabilization of the GoPro is there, which is pretty cool. If you haven't seen it, go check out the GoPro Karma which the GoPro Keynote done. It's pretty good. And it's currently half 10. I need to eat some food. I'm hella hungry. I haven't had breakfast yet. doing that but I just had to get that clean before I had breakfast just had to clear that up hate it after washing up your hands go a little wrinkly oh I don't want to touch I don't want to touch this camera oh my god I'm actually getting goosebumps I don't know if you can see that oh for all that waiting to make breakfast round of milk I put an empty milk cup back in the fridge I'm gonna quickly pop to the shop then as I do that I'm gonna fill my tires with some air as well there's a shop which was a petrol station just around the corner from me. Right, keys, phone, wallet, let's go. Not just any tyre machine, it's a digital tyre inflator. Just filling up my tyres and uh, I knew one of them was like down a little bit, but so usually my tyre needs to be at around 38 PSI it's called. It was at 7. 7? I didn't realise it was that flat, that is really bad. Please pop into there which is Marks and Sparks and get some milk. Milk acquired. Right, well guess where I'm going? Same place I go probably every day I'm off, up to Aces, we're gonna go do something. Hopefully he actually wants to get out of bed today and not just play Xbox, because you're a lazy mother trucker. But yeah, gonna head up. I always do that, like I speak and then just go, but yeah, because I just forget where I'm at. But yeah, <laughs> head up there now, don't know what we're gonna do. I was just looking at some, or doing some research on the GoPro Karma. I'm seriously considering getting one if I can get this refund on my other drone, which I probably should be able to because they screwed up really. Thank you, Mr. Bus Driver. Thanks, Driver. Got any records, please? That's my cousin there skating down the road. Don't know where he's going. Oh, I wanted to speak to him, I haven't seen him in ages. So today we're doing the 100 Xbox challenge. You've got so many stacked on each other. I've just left Acer and he's doing exactly what I said he was going to be doing. Playing a game. Now I don't know what to do. I might just go for like a skate around. I need to go down to a shop. So I might just skate down there. I need to ask them a question. So I've got a pretty fun day planned out for you guys to watch. Bye. Hello, boy. I'm home now. Obviously, I think I'm going to go for a little one, two, three. Fuck it. Oh my god. Drop back from my run. 5.4k. Holy moly. That was the first time I've run that far in a while. Oh, I need a shower. Sometimes they were used to display lollipops or other goods in stores. It's collectible and I want it. Showered, clean, no longer sweating my life away. That run was a killer. It was good. Glad I went out and done that. I'm glad I've done that today. Now, I think it's time for some lunch. I'm just waiting for it to clock 
to 2 p.m. It's currently half one, so I can phone the drone people and get my money back. I've got some eggs for lunch as well. I didn't have eggs for breakfast, so I should get some some protein. You know, you've got to get them, got to get them gains. Oh, I don't know if you can see, but it says October 23rd there. Now, I don't know if that is. It says available. Whether or not that's available to pre-order or not, I don't know. So I'm going to click that button there and get it to notify me. Made lunch, it's scrambled egg with like a, underneath the scrambled egg, I don't know if you probably can't see it, but is a avocado puree which I made, which is avocado mashed up with like lemon and different sort of spices and herbs and stuff. On toast, nice healthy lunch. Been on the phone for 51 minutes now, trying to get this sorted, I'm battling it out. They're not having it, and I'm not having it either. Jesus Christ, after arguing this guy for so long about how, why I feel that customer care is awful and why I should get a full refund, finally sorted something out, and I've got to send them the drone back and hope that it's all okay and it gets there fine and that basically they've given me a full refund, and I think they're, they're going to moan. They're going to moan about it, I know they are. But I'm just packing it up now. God, that stressed me out. Seriously, I hate doing that. I hate having them calls of people having to moan and complain, but that that called for it. Right, I'm heading out. I've got everything packed up. I just need to get a box to put these two in, and I'm just heading to the office because I need to print out the shipping label, and then hopefully I can get it all sorted. On my way to the post office, hopefully they've got a box big enough to fit all that in. I've got my shipping labels. I have to pay for shipping, which is a sh but if it means it gets it there, then it gets it there. If it means that what I have to do, then I have to do it. Or email it over to you and... Yeah. Trying to get this thing sent back is a nightmare. I am not being helpful whatsoever. Do you want to see it? Look at the size of that thing, it takes up my whole seat. To send back my drone cost me £140 just to send it. And I said to them, like, that's ridiculous, I shouldn't have to pay that. They were like, well, if you pay that, then blah, blah, blah. They're just changed. So, I've got to try and work something out to get it sent there or get it fixed, I don't know, I don't know what I'm going to do. Cookie dough, Kit Kat, oh my god. Sorry, I'm just eating the cup tash, that's it. I'm back home, got my drone in there, the box, I just need to pack all this middle out, which I've done here, I'm trying to pack some of it out, going to put some newspaper in there, but I can't send it back. The company will not let me send it back with the battery in there separate. So I have no idea what I'm going to do. And the shipping costs £160. To ship that is 160 quid. That's a joke, and I'm not paying that, that's ridiculous. That's, that's a third of the cost of the drone. One, two, three, fuck it.